Welcome to Aptitude Destination. Please pause the video and read the question completely. 40 children are standing in a circle and one of them, say child 1, has a ring. Now this child passes the ring to the second child. The second child passes to the fourth child. And the fourth child passes on to the seventh child and the seventh child to the eleventh child and so on. So the pattern is one, two, three, four and so on. Which means the first child passes to the child that's one step away. The second child passes to the child that's two steps away and so on. Now let's add these values and check if we can reach the position of the child who's holding the ring. 1 plus 2 plus 3 will give us 6 but actually child number 7 is holding the ring which means we need one more here. Now we can check adding up these values will provide us with the position of the child who's holding the ring. Now we are supposed to find after how many changes the ring will again be in the hands of child 1. Which means adding all these values up, we have to get 41 because 40 would be the last child. And since they are standing in a circle, the next would be the first child again. So if these numbers don't sum up to 41, the next circle must also be calculated. And this can be represented by 40n plus 1. You cannot take this as 41 multiples because when you take it that way, you will be reaching a total of 82 and then 123, which will not be applicable because they are standing in a circle. If you check the options, the number of changes are 14, 15, 16 and 17. The first shift alone should be considered as 2 because we are trying to bring the sum and the position of the child with the ring to be equal. Now if you check adding the changes will provide us with a value that's equal to the position of the child who's holding on to the ring. Since the minimum number of changes given in the option is 14, let's check what position we will reach after 14 changes. So let's add till the 14th change. We know that the sum should be in the format 40n plus 1 which means if you consider n as 1 you will have 41. If you consider n as 2 you will have 81. If n is 3, you will have 121, n is 4, you will have 161, and so on. Adding till the 14th change, we will get 106, which is not in the form of 40n plus 1. So let's add the 15th change to it, which will provide us with 121. This is in the form of 40n plus 1, therefore the ring has reached child 1 again. So option B is the right answer.